to another part of this video all right so let's go deep into heat now we are going to the smudge aspect the painting aspect you sketch and do the hair all right so we create a new layer now and um, like i always tell you you can screenshot my color platelet now go to my other videos on color i have make a tutorial video on how to choose your colors all right you can choose to color uh, to color pick actually but i wouldn't um, advise that all right all right so i would love, love to paint my course now i use my inky pen like i said i don't want to be changing tools over and over so that's why i'm using just one um or i think the tools you've been using is not even up to six so i don't want to get you guys confused that's why i just i've just choose to stay with all of that on the normal or on the norms if i'm not making a tutorial i can use any to uh, any tool my hand found uh, interesting all right so but for the sake of this tutorial like i said it's a beginner's video i don't want to get you guys confused okay now so continue painting your colors So I'll just fill in the colors to this area. So I'm not certain yet that this is the color I'll be using. All right, if you've been watching some of my tutorials, you'll discover I can just suddenly change the colors again. If I'm not seeing the picture I have in my mind about what I'm trying to do, then I will have to delete it. Is that okay? So I get a satisfactory one before I leave it to heat. Okay, so this area, you erase it off, okay. Alright. So you can see what I'm doing. All right. So I'll use my fill to my solid fill. All right. Okay. So for this area, let me check the cloth. Okay. Uh, I can I can use any color of any of my choice, but um, which color should I use? Just let me go along with. Uh, all right, let me try and go along with a lighter yellow. All right, I can still change the color, like I said the other time. That's why the fact that I'm using the color now doesn't mean that's the color I'll be using. Mm -hmm. So you need to get it. I can change it. I'm just trying to just, you know, just put it there and make a rough sketch of everything now. Then begin to balance it. So about choosing colors you just need to make your own decision don't say because that's the color i'm using that's the color you'll be using no it all depends on what you're trying to achieve the kind of picture you have in your mind all right so if what i'm doing is not going in alignment with what you have in your mind i tell you just follow your whole mind but please even if you want to follow your mind just make sure you're doing something that is very meaningful all right all right so here is the tutorial all right <clears throat> so Next thing we're going to do is to move to our blending. Alright, so I'll put it on color and let me see what's on. Um, okay, let me duplicate and let me try and put this on multiply. Okay, let me reduce the opacity and see. Okay, let me check the reference. Okay, let me put this on soft light. Alright, just let me <clears throat> smudge the picture now. Alright. Okay, so on this, just let me um, duplicate so 
I can have a copy of that. Alright, so let me work with my smudge brush. Alright, hope you can see I'm sketching. I mean, how I'm smudging rather. Here's what I'm doing. Alright, so just merge it accordingly. Alright, can you see I'm smudging? Like I said the other time, I can still change the color but just let me smudge first and let's see what it's giving me Alright, so Make it neat I come back here Alright, you may wonder what the flow of the brush. Alright, let me show you. The setting yeah, it is there is 25 and the flow 5. Alright. You can decide to put the flow at 7. I mean uh, the flow at 5 and this uh, um, the strength is 27. Is that okay? So it just all depends, but you can still use 5 for the flow and the strength. So you just make it neat, you know. Okay, so this side also so much it. Okay, so let's come back to the face. This is here also. So you you make everything to be blending.